Hello everybody, I am Ludmila Lee, AGU Women's Technical Committee Vice President, National Team Coach, their Asian Gymnastics Union family. Welcome to our first AGU online educational webinars and seminars for our Asian judges. As everybody knows, due to the current situation of the pandemic, and to the restriction of isolations and social distancing to stop the spread. Asian Gymnastics Union, as many other unions and communities, had to cancel and postpone many events and activities for this year 2020 to avoid any risk of the spread because safety comes first. Therefore, Women Technical Committee, with the full support of AGU, decided to organize this kind of sets of seminars and webinars to keep our judges connected, active, motivated, and updated with the latest rules. Today, we are going to start our first session with the uneven bust. We will have the presentation and the practical video and its analysis first for the jury and the e jury, five routines each. We are going to give you an evaluation period of one and a half minutes for de-evaluation and 30 seconds for e-evaluation, so you can feel the competition or exam atmosphere. Now, let me introduce you to our expert for today and for the rest of this set of seminars, Mrs. Rima Zinal Kazelgun. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, dear Lodmila. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. How are you? Fine, thank you. Our AGU Women Technical Committee President, former gymnast and national team coach, international coach and physical education teacher. Welcome, dear Rima. We are very happy to have you with us. And thank now you very I much. give the floor to you. Thank you very much. It's also my pleasure to be here with you. Thank you very much, dear Lodmila, for your nice uh, introduction. Thank and you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Once again, I'm very happy to be here. And uh, as my colleague Lodmila said, due to the current situation, we had uh, to develop ourselves and adapt with the current situation. And uh, always we may find something uh, positive uh, among the negative things and the positive things here is that we what we start to use and work these platforms uh, of seminars and webinars to stay connected with our judges and keep them active motivated and updated with the latest rules and that's why we are here today and uh, we will talk about the uneven bars we can say it's the apparatus of uh, give the feeling of freedom, strength, and stiffness of the body or proper correct body position to the audience in the same time. So as, as long as we say it's the apparatus of swings, we can say that uh, uh, start, we can start with the swing um, uh, part, talking about the swings and uh, we can say if any element uh, with the swing does not reach handstand and pass through vertical, continue movement after the turn in opposite direction, then uh, credited one difficulty value lower. And what it does mean, we can uh, see it now more uh, properly uh, with the um, examples uh, of the videos that we are going to watch. So. Let's see here, this example, swing and turn occur before reaching the 10 degree tolerance in the vertical. In this case, this swing, instead of D, it's become the evaluated to C, as you could see. Let's see another example. And Yes, as you could see also here, the turn, the full turn on handstand, it was out of the tolerated uh, 10 degree. That's why we de-evaluated from C to B, as you could see. And this is applied for all the swings with turns 
and continue on the opposite direction without reaching the 10 degree tolerated from the vertical. Now, we can move to the other slide. And let's see the example here. Flight elements without grasp of both hands, momentary hang on the bar. Usually, every flight element should show a momentary hang. So as you could see here, the flight element unfortunately had no, not at least momentary hang on the bar, and that's why there is no dv, we give no value. Let's see another example. And with a grasp of both hands as momentary hang, let's see what will happen. Okay, so as you could see, here was a momentary hang on the bar. We could hear the voice, and sometimes you can hear the, you see the vibration of the uh, bar. So we award the difficulty value in this example. We move to another example. Yes, different type of flight elements, pack salto from high bar to low bar, but again, she had a regrasp on the low bar and the support to fulfill the technical requirement of the movement, and then she, the fall occurs. In this case, we, evaluate, we, we uh, give the difficulty value, as you saw in the example. Next. We, we have the short exercise examples. Uh, as you remember, the exercise to be counted like full, not short, uh, it must have minimum seven elements or more. So if any exercise has less than seven elements, the deduction will uh, be applied accordingly as per the short exercise rules. In this example here, uh, we can see that she has a few elements but not complete. So if she has five or six elements, we will uh, be deducting uh, four points from the final score as de jury. And if less than five or six elements, if it's three or four, you have to deduct more. Six, if it's uh, one or two, you will deduct eight from the 10 e maximum score and so on. Let's see the example. So as you could see in the example, I try to show with my cursor here on the screen. She had a keep on a down on the low bar and then the squat on to hang on the high bar here, which is nothing, it has no value. And uh, it, it has also another deduction, compositional deduction. And then she had the keep on the high bar, clear hip circle to handstand. Of course, it was not as it's shown here in the symbol. It was inside. That's why we have to uh, not give, oops, sorry. We have not to give the, evaluate, the difficulty value here, but it doesn't matter. Now we talk about the short exercise. And then she had a giant, giant full turn. The other giant is repetition, so no value. And the dismount, salto, back, straight, layout. So if you count the element, it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. In this case, six element, it, does, it, it mean we have to deduct as de jury four points from the final score. I hope it's clear. And uh, I tried not to make long presentation before the practice, so we can be now prepared for our practical evaluation. Uh, as uh, we said in the beginning of this uh, 
session, we will have five exercises to evaluate for uh, the jury. If you are ready now with your papers and uh, pen or pencils, we can start with the first routine to evaluate as a de-jury. If everybody ready with the papers and the pen in your hands, we go for our evaluation as de-jury and we start with the first routine. Ready? Here we go. I give you now the one and a half minutes for the evaluation, your time starting. Last 10 seconds. And time's up. I hope you could catch to do all your evaluation. Let's move to see our uh, analysis. Just one second. So, as you could see here, we had the, the inner Stalder to full turn, E, Stalder to uh, Shapushnikova, which is uh, D, and then followed directly down to Paxalto, another D, so E plus D, point one, D plus D, point one, and then she had the Stalder to Shapushnikova half turn, but unfortunately it's followed with the fall, uh, but it's still awarded because she had the momentary grasp as we talked before in the presentation. And then you had the inner Stalder to half turn followed by Jaeger piked and towards the dismount, full turn double tuck, which is D. And you can see the evaluation, the rest on the very right, it's a totally mathematical uh, calculation. So we have a 3D and 4D 
three e sorry four d and one b and for the composition requirement it's full and plus three the trio connection and the final d score is 5.6 so if you are 5.6 your score it means you are you did a great job let's move to the other exercise number two for the d jury if you are ready we go this exercise and if you are ready we start our period for you to evaluate And last 10 seconds. And time over. I hope you are ready. So for the evaluation of this exercise, you can see here she has the Stalder full term, D, and then uh, Van Leeuwen, which is Pike Sol to half turn, grasp, grasp on the high bar, E, D plus E, point 0.1, because the first is uh, turning. And then we had the Pike Jaeger, E, followed by Pak Salto, D, and she has uh, the connection of point 0.2, because both flight elements uh, of the D and E. And then she had the Melanie, which is Pike Sol to release to the high bar, followed by the Ginger Pike and D plus D, but unfortunately no connection because of the fall. And then the dismount double front tack with half turn E. So we got here three E, which is one and a half, four D and one C. So the total is uh, uh, the sum of the difficulty values and the composition requirement is complete and 0, 03 for the connection and the final D score is 5.7. So if you are 
if you are on this score, it means you did uh, well evaluation. Let's move to the third routine for the D jury evaluation. trying to consult to her coach and to decide how to continue. As you could see, it's a bit uh, long routine and uh, unfortunately with the fall, be careful. Remember all the movement elements that have been done and the values and evaluate accordingly. The period started for one and a half minutes. Last 10 seconds. And time over. Let's see the evaluation. So as I said, it's a bit long uh, routines. She had the uh, Melanie with full turn, which is E, from low bar to high bar, followed by Pax Salto, D. And now it's point two because both elements with the flight as per the uh, connection rules here. And then she had the Van uh, Lee Win, which is E. And she has the Jaeger, Straddle D. She had the church, which is the Pikes Hall circle. Oops, sorry. With the, with the, um, followed by Tikachev. And here, unfortunately, there was a fall occurs and there was no momentary hang. Here was the moment where the gymnast tried to consult to, to her coach to uh, renew her strategy in uh, remounting the routine and continue the routine. And they dec she decided to repeat because 
they were aware that this uh, element won't be uh, counted due to no momentary grasp on the bar. So she repeated the element, as you can see here, the second, oops, again, sorry, uh, the second church, and she take, she award the movement, the element here, E, and she continued to fly over from high bar to low bar D, followed by the pike sole full turn. Be careful here because the pike so uh, Pike's uh, circle full turn, even though we need the, the, the turn uh, 360 degree on, on the bar, we don't count it because it's root skill. So she had first the first flight element from down to up uh, full turn, and then she had with the half turn, the second E, and then she had the church, the third one, which I mean the fourth, but this is the third because this one was not counted. That's why we don't take the fourth or even the fifth because they both, they all this type of elements, it's with the toes on the bar, the pike uh, salt circle. That's why we, due to the root skill, we don't count it. And unfortunately, in this case, she missed the composition requirement number, th uh, number four, which is non-flight element with turn 360 degree. And that's why here you can see the composition requirement is only one and a half point and not two and with the difficulty value 3.3 and 02 connection of the first two flight elements. And the final D score is five. Okay. So I hope you are happy with your evaluation. Uh, if you are convinced and happy, it means you are in the correct, uh, on the correct line. Let's move to the other exercise, number four for the D jury. Interesting um, exercise or a routine full of flight elements. Let's see, I'll give you the period of one and a half minutes to evaluate and then we can go to our analyze. And last 10 seconds.
and time's up. Let's see the exercise analyze. So as I said, you can see it's full of flight elements, which is good, but uh, we will go one by one. So Pike's all circle with full twist, full turn D, and then she had the Melanie, which is chose on to hang on the high bar, like Shapushnikova type, D, followed by Delchev, D, and D plus D point two, because one from down to up and the other one on the high bar, as per the connection rules. And then we had Tikachev, D, followed by Ginger, D. Both were successful flight elements, both on the high bar, and that's why D plus D point two. And then we have here also a single uh, Jaeger piked, and then we have the flyover from high bar to low bar, D, to handstand, and then toes on to hang on the high bar, B, and the dismount double tuck. So you can calculate the normal mathematical calculation here, and she has a plus point, point zero 0.04 for the connections, and the final D score is 5.5. So if you have one E and six D and one B, it means you had a correct calculation uh, of the difficulty values. Let's move to the last exercise for D evaluation. Ready, steady, go. Done with the performance. Let me give you your period, one and a half minutes to evaluate. Last 10 seconds. And time's up. Let's go to our evaluation analysis for the last D jury evaluation. Remember, dear judges, please to refer not only to the code of point, but also to the judge's help desk or uh, STS program it's very helpful for the judges' education. So you can see here the Weiler Keep, we de evaluated from D to C because she completed to handstand but with open legs, which make it the evaluation to C. And then we have the Melanie D and 
followed by tika shape D, one from down to up and one on the high bar. So D plus T plus two as per the connection rules. And then we have also here the flyover from high to low to handstand D and the soul circle, pike soul circle to full turn D. But unfortunately she has hit the mat with the feet. So it's uh, same like a uh, fall, one point deduction from the E, but now we are evaluating the D, so no connection. And then also it was followed by intermediate swing. As you could see, it was interrupted uh, routine. And then Staldar uh, to fly to high bar B. And here was clear, no question, the clear, clear hip circle to handstand, toes on to handstand, followed by giant and double pike dismount. So the D difficulty value, it's 2.8. Composition requirement, it's fine. And 0 0.2 for the connection. So if we have 4D, 4C, it means we have correct calculation of the difficulty value. Final score is five. That's it for the D evaluation uh, for now. I hope you are you were happy with your evaluation exactly or similar or near to us. Don't worry, whatever you whenever you uh, miss some elements, one or more, don't give up. Just try to keep evaluating and you will get used to it and you will find the better and better ways to evaluate the more you practice. Let's have uh, now uh, a look to the presentation of the E panel, we will see some examples for the deductions and evaluations, and then we will move to the evaluation of the E jury routines. So, adjusted grip position. Let's see the example. As you could see, when she was changing her grips, she changed it hand by hand and not on the same time together. And this caused her a deduction for adjusted grip 0 0.1. When a skill is clear, clearly not awarded a value, only deduct one point for, for a fall. If we don't recognize the element or no value for it, so we just deduct for the fall because anyway, it was not an element. Let's see the example. So as you can see, in the pike soul circle to handstand, it was not reaching to the vertical handstand and also it was not in the tolerated uh, range, which is 10 degree. So no value and we give only deduction for the fall one point. Next. Each phase of moment, uh, movement must demonstrate a perfect control, which means clear start and finish. This is the definition of the precision. This is also valid for all apparatus. Also, we apply it here on the bar. Let's see an example for the precision. could see beautiful uh, flight from the gymnast from low bar to high bar. So it means it was successful and uh, no deduction for the precision. Another example. So as you could see, we had here a little bit tilted body during the flight from low bar to high bar. So she has a deduction 0 0.1 for precision and also a little bit leg separation, which is 0 0.1. Let's move to another example for precision. Yes, so you can guess she had uh, a, oh, sorry. We have it once again. So she had a little bit tilted body, uh, legs not parallel to the bar, 
which it make her deviate from the precision position, so 0 0.1, besides 0 0.3 deduction for the height. She was quite low. So don't forget also we have to deduct for the heights of the flight elements. We will see later many examples about this. Now we move to the body alignment in handstands and cast to handstands. The body position in handstands should be aligned, perfect or uh, defined all body parts on one line. Let's see an example for the body alignment. Okay, as you could see, it was very beautiful, clear. Uh, all the body parts was aligned on one line. Another example for body alignment in handstand or cast to handstands. Okay, we talk about body alignment, so we are not about to talk about the fall, it's clear. So as you can remember, the first handstand had slightly arched, which is uh, 0 0.1, and the second one was more arched and more unstable and far from the body alignment points, and which is cause her 0 0.3. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 deduction for body alignment. Next. very small range or elongation amplitude of the body and it will cost her as you can see 0 0.3 for the cast and 0 0.3 for the angle of completion of element total 0 0.6 let's see the bent knees deduction here Unfortunately, again, see. followed by fall, but we talk about the bent knees deduction only. As you can see, uh, as you could see, in every joint, she had bent knees ten, uh, too much or almost uh, 90 degree. So in every time she bent her knees, we deduct 0 0.3 for every element. That's why she had four time deduction for bent knees, 0 0.3. We talk about the height of the flight elements now. Watch carefully. Nice, successful performance from the, uh, the gym, Belgium uh, gymnast, Nina Derwell, and she had the Navayeva movement. It was quite good and high enough. So we consider it successful flight. Next. Height of flight elements. Finger also was good, successful, and remember to follow uh, the height of the flight elements. The moment she catch the bar, you have to seek her shoulder position. So this was also nice flight. Next. Let's go with the first example. Now, different type of flight elements from low bar to high bar, as you saw. I think it was good enough. Let's see the other example. Files with a dismount, double double. Quite nice. And you could see she has a quite clear body extension on the landing moment. So, both flights here are okay. No deduction for the flight. Another example for insufficient flight of the flight elements. With the Jordan uh, gymnast catching the ginger, you would see here that she has a deduction for the height 0 0.1. The moment the gymnast catch the bar, the shoulder were on the height of the bar. So it should be over the bar. Let's see the ticket chip example.
Okay. As you can see here, she had zero one also for the height because the moment she catch the bar, the, she was at the bar height. Let's see, Rikna Salto, which is Shkaldar to Tikachev. Also, she received deduction 0 0.1 because of the height. Okay, I think it's clear. Insufficient height and under rotation of flight elements. So I tried to show you different type of flight elements on the same bar from down to up or as this mount. Now let's see when we deduct besides the uh, height uh, deduction, when we deduct the under rotation. Let's see the first example. Yes, so as you could see here, she had insufficient height beside the rotation was kind of uh, slowed down or interrupted. So when you feel like the rotation is not completed and the fluent uh, directly connected to the other elements, it means she need, uh, she miss uh, the rotation. So we deduct for under rotation. So in this example, she has 0.3 for the height and 0.1 for under rotation. Let's move to the other example. Yes, for the finger from the Chinese gymnast, also 0.3 for the height. Okay. Move to another example, flight from down to up. As you could see, totally slowed down and she couldn't continue connecting to another element, so she had to make a kind of an intermediate swing. So we can say that she missed the height. She was quite low under the bar, very much, 0 0.3, besides under rotation deduction 0 0.1, because she couldn't continue fluently uh, to, con to connect with the other movements. I, I think it's clear. Last uh, examples about the height. And let's move to the other example and then we can talk about both deductions. So in both dismount, they receive 0 0.1 for uh, each example, deduction for the height because the moment she released the bar, uh, hands from the bar, she was uh, at the bar level. If it, she leave more even down the bar level, then it can be 0 0.3. In this example, 0 0.1 deduction. So flight element, whatever it might be, on the same bar or from low bar to high bar or uh, dismount, you have always to take care about the flight element's height deduction. Let's see another example. As I said, she has more uh, early release of the hands for the bar. And the other example. Also, both each example receives 0 0.3 deduction for the height because they release the bar even earlier. Now, empty swing and intermediate swing. We all know that empty swing, it's when you go one direction, have nothing to connect or to perform, and then she go to the other side and she connect. This is empty swing, and the deduction is 0 0.5. And intermediate swing, we all know the definition of intermediate swing. It's unnecessary swings, uh, which is uh, disconnecting or interrupting the connection of the movement. And uh, it can be one, the other direction, and then she continue whether forwards or backwards beside the other type of intermediate swings like pump swings and others. 
Let's see the example for the uh, empty swing. So as you could see here, beside the empty swing back, she connects with nothing. Also, she were under the horizontal. So in this case, we deduct for swing under horizontal 0 0.1. Besides the leg separation 0 0.1, anybody uh, error uh, deduction, beside the em em empty swing, which is 0 0.5. And it's compositional mistakes, the empty swing. In the other example, let's see the intermediate swing. As you could see, she went uh, for backwards, forward, and then she had to connect again later in the third swing. So this is intermediate swing and receive deduction 0 0.5. And this is execution mistakes. So one composition mistake, one execution mistake, just to define exactly the swings, the, the difference between the both empty and intermediate swing. I hope it's clear. And we have a final reminder for you before we move to the usual evaluation. Remember carefully, when hit the bar during the element followed by intermediate swing, deduct for execution error uh, in the element and hit and intermediate swing. And then when intermediate swing and fall occurs, deduct only for the fall because intermediate swing but she didn't continue she fell so one time no double punishment and the last example when hit the bar during the element and a fall occurs deduct for the execution errors the, the body mistakes in the element but not for hitting the bar and you deduct one point for the fall because when he, she hit and then followed by the fall we deduct only the fall when she make intermediate swing and then she fall, we deduct only for the fall. But without fall, then you deduct for each mistake separately. I hope it's clear. And that's it for the presentation for e -jury. Now, if you are ready again with your papers and pen, let's move to the five routines to evaluate as e -jury. And remember now we have only 30 seconds to evaluate after each exercise. If you are ready, I'm ready to show you the first exercise. Here we go. Okay, that's it for this exercise, and I'll give you now 30 seconds to evaluate as e jury. Remember all the deductions. Last few seconds. And time's up. As you could see, it was uh, full of deductions, this exercise. The, I will not talk uh, separately uh, on every small deduction, just we try to stop uh, or underline the major uh, deduction. So in the first flight element, which is cast to straddle and half turn, vault over the bar. She has a 0 0.3 for the height and of course 0 0.1 for the precision because she was deviated and not parallel to the bar. Besides also 0 0.3 for the leg separation. And then we have here 0 0.3 for the angle of completion of element. 
this is also a very important deduction to apply 0 0.1, 3, or 5 for the angle of completion of elements in the elements with turns. And then also we move here, she has another with the giant forward half turn, another uh, angle uh, of completion of elements uh, deduction 0 0.5, which is big error. And the flyover from high bar to low bar, it was of course not on handstand, uh, regardless the uh, symbol here, but as you can see, it's evaluated from D to C, but now we are only evaluating the E deduction. So she has 0 0.3 for the angle, 0 0.1 for the body alignment, and 1, 0 0.1 for the leg separation. Flight from down to up on the toes, also 0 0.1 for the height, and she has 0 0.1 under rotation, and for the bent arms. And also, don't forget to deduct the keep if, they, if it has no uh, body extension in the keeps, 0 0.1. And then also the dismounts, 0, 0.1, 0, 0.1, and 0, 0.1 for the step. So the total deduction is 4.3. If you are like this deduction, if you have the similar deduction or very close to it, it means you are fine. You remember, always there might be some difference between the judge's evaluation, or sometimes you deduct for different reasons, but you give similar deduction. It all works. Let's move to the other uh, exercise for e-evaluation. Here we go. give you the, your period of 30 seconds to evaluate. Time up, time's up, and let's see the deduction. It was uh, comparing with the first routine, less deduction, as you can see here. She has 0.1 for the, uh, for the extension of the keep, 0.1 for the half turn, giant half turn, 0.1 for the pike, Jaeger, 0.1 for the pack salto, cast to handstand, 0.1, Meloni, no deduction, clear hip circle, full turn, 0, 3. Remember always the angle of completion of elements. And Tikachev for the height, 0. 0.1. And the Ginger also 0. 0.1 height, 0. 0.1 legs. And again, here for the giant half turn, 0. 0.3. And only for the little hop, 0. 0.1 for the double salto forward tuck as dismount. So total deduction is 1.5. Not so much. I hope you are happy with your evaluation and deduction also. Let's move to the third E routine evaluation.
So remember on the bar, the fall time is 0. Point, uh, sorry, 30 seconds until she, the gymnast is re -chalk, consult her coach and remount the bar again. 30 seconds, fall time. Some use it until the end and some gymnasts just remount directly. Okay, time for your evaluation, 30 seconds. Last few seconds. And time's up. Let's see what we have. Yes. Again, I will talk only about the major deductions. We have on the Jaeger straddle 0.1 for the height and 0.1 for the arms. And we have for the pike salt circle to handstand full twist. Uh, point 0.1 for the body alignment and point 0.1 for the angle during the turn and for the Rihna Salto to Pike Tikachev point 0.1 for the height and then another Rihna Salto but this time straddle point 0.1 for the uh, for the knees and Pak Salto point 0.1 for the legs and then here also we have the arms one point fall for the uh, Van Li Wen, the toes on to Shaposhnikova half turn on the high bar. And also we have the precision and the leg. And finally, the double layout, zero one for the flexion of the hip, or we call it snap, and zero one for the hop. So the total E deduction is 2.4. If you are near to this deduction, you are doing quite well. Let's move to the third or fourth uh, routine for e-evaluation. If you are ready, I'm starting. Have the period of 30 seconds for you. And time's up. Let's see what we have. As you could see, this exercise was quite successful. Nice flight elements connected together. Not so much to deduct. Uh, so we had uh, for the Pike's uh, Soul Circle to full turn is 0, 1 for the body alignment and 0, 1 for the angle of completion of element. We have zero one for the legs uh, on the pack salto, nothing for the Stalda to, to Shapushnikova, and nothing for the Milani, and 
and for fly from high bar to low bar, only 0, 0.1 for the legs, and 1.01 uh, here for the pike sole circle half. Jaeger straddle was nice, and here for angle, 0, 0.3, open legs handstand to half turn, and 0, 0.1 only for the extra arm swing during the dismount. In general, very beautiful, successful routine. So we have the total deduction of 0 0.9 for this routine. I hope everyone is happy with her evaluation. Let's move to the last routine evaluation for the e jury. Be careful, try to apply all deduction, and then we can talk about this routine. <laughs> Yes, and this was our last routine for the e-jury evaluation. I'll give you the, now your duration for evaluation, 30 seconds. And time over. Let's see about our evaluation. As you could see, unfortunately, it was full of mistakes, this routine. Quite hard luck and not a good day for this poor gymnast. And with many falls and uh, 
if we go for the major mistakes, you can see first fall on the Ginger, and then we have also the evaluation. Uh, regardless the symbol, but the clear hip circle, it was not to handstand, but inside, so it's uh, de evaluated from C to B, plus 0 0.5 for the uh, deduction for the execution error, and also 0 0.3 for the Stalder, 0 0.5 for the intermediate swing uh, after the Tikachev, and then she has also another fall on the Pak Salto, with the pack salto and then unfortunately the other pack salto she repeated it and it was successful but later followed again with hitting the mat so it's like a fall mistake a one point deduction and then again we have the zero three for the handstand half turn zero three for the flight to tell that to fly to high bar uh, for the height and for the under rotation and also for the casts, for the giants, one, 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 with the giant forward half turn. Again, we have big error, 0 0.5 for the angle of completion of element, plus the one point deduction. And we move to the other movements until we reach to the dismount. And she has for the flight and other uh, error, uh, execution error, beside the one, point fall because support the mat or with the hands. So if you count only the falls with the mat uh, hit or supporting with the hands, it's five point. And with the intermediate swing, it's five and a half point out of 10 only for those falls and intermediate swing. And with the rest of the execution deduction, unfortunately, it's reached to the very, very large uh, execution deduction of 9.3 out of 10. So she only left up with 0 0.7 for the E score. This was really big, uh, long uh, exercise with very uh, too many uh, deductions and errors. So I hope you done well and I hope you are happy with your evaluation. And um, this is it for the execution uh, deduction and the uh, e jury deduction for this routine i hope you enjoyed uh, the uh, evaluation with us today as i said and uh, please remember that this um, presentation and the videos and examples it was uh, supported uh, from the FIG Women Taken Care Committee materials, which is uh, very useful for all the judges' education. Plus, you can find many of uh, today's presentation in the STS program, which was also a big effort uh, and support from the FIG Women Technical Committee to us, to all uh, the uh, unions and judges. And I hope you enjoyed uh, today's session. Please keep up trying your best, don't give up, try to practice while sitting at home and try to be updated and uh, familiar to some videos to evaluate until we meet face to face uh, soon, hopefully. And now I would like to leave the floor to my uh, colleague. I would like to uh, call uh, Ludmila to join us again. Yes, dear Ludmila, are you there? Yes. Thank you very much, Deirima, for your presentation and valuable information. I thank you so much, and it was my pleasure to be here, Luda. Yes, thank you. I'm sure all our judges enjoyed working with you. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you a lot. Thank you. For those who couldn't attend today's lecture, they can watch it again in their own convenient time on our HU YouTube educational channel. Please remember to follow up with our next session next week about balance beam with our expert Rima Kizilgun and moderator Yoshimi Sano. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay active. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.